Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another daily spoiler video. So again, we'll be looking at Amaket, and today we only have, well I guess two cards, but only one card that really matters, but it's a super sweet one. We found out today that Avon Mind Sensor is coming back to standard. This is a really exciting reprint for many reasons. It was originally in Future Sight, and it's very powerful. It's modern playable, which we'll talk about. But the big thing is, Wizards hasn't reprinted many powerful cards lately. So to see a reprint on the level of Avon Mind Sensor in a standard legal set is really exciting. Maybe this signifies a shift from Wizards back towards printing some more modern cards cards in standard sets. Hopefully we don't go back to Thought Seizes and Muta Vaults necessarily, but there's a middle ground, I think, between no reprints for Modern whatsoever and reprinting cards that are potentially a little bit too good for standard. But I think Avon Mind Sensor falls in a really sweet spot on the curve. First off, it's $7, so it's a good reprint financially, already a decent start, and that was as an uncommon as far as standard goes, there's a few different things that even Mind Sensor does. The biggest is it helps shut down a Tune with Ether, and believe it or not, a Tune with Ether is a super important card in standard at the moment. It is the second most played card in the entire format, and so many of the crazy four color decks that we see, three color decks that we see, Mardu vehicle splashing a color, four color copycat, they really depend on this card to make their decks work. And even Mind Sensor, with the ability to make it so if an opponent would search their library, they only look at the top four, kind of completely shuts that down. You can't just play one of each basic and a bunch of attune with ethers and trust that you're going to have your mana on time, because if you're only looking at the top four cards of your library, it's kind of unlikely you're going to find the basic you need, or maybe the basic at all. So on level one, it's a way for maybe a mono white deck, or god forbid, Mardu vehicles itself, to fight against four color deck so hopefully it doesn't just make Mardu better and it makes new decks more possible and more playable maybe it harkens a return to blue white flash it does have flash it's a powerful flyer fits well with like avisons and spell quellers your opponent will never know what to play around in a deck like that further down the list in standard it does also kind of shut down evolving wilds and traverse the uvenwalds from the green black decks so there's a decent amount of targets in standard that even mind sensor hits and because of this i expect that it'll actually see a decent amount of play the body's good enough it has flash it has flying it's very easy to slot into a deck and it does hit a reasonable amount of targets in the format as far as modern the most likely home for Avon Mind Sensor at present is various Collected Company decks. So you can Collected Company, hit Mind Sensor, and it helps kind of disrupt your opponent. It also sees play, though, in Elves decks out of the sideboard, in various Death and Taxes decks alongside Thalia and other disruptive effects, and even in some blue-white control slash blink decks. So why are so many decks in Modern playing Avon Mind Sensor? And the big one is... It makes it really hard for your opponent to fetch. So fetch lands, of course, search your library. If you have an even mind sensor down, your opponent cracks a fetch. It's just like a tune with ether in standard. Your opponent only gets to look at the top four cards instead of their whole deck, and there's a reasonable chance that when they crack that Scalding Tarn or Bloodstained Mire, they don't actually find a card to get, and it's kind of land destruction. In the worst case, it makes it really risky for your opponent to just crack their fetches and maybe makes them get lands that they don't want. Maybe they really need a basic, really need a specific shock land, and they have to just pick whatever land they get in their top four if they even crack their fetch lands at all. It also has some good utility in specific matchups. So much like standard, it shuts down Traverse the Uvenwald, which is really upticked in popularity thanks to Death Shadow decks. So it's a great sideboard option against those decks to keep the decks from tutoring out their Death Shadows and Tarmogoyves. Also very strong against Tron, where Tron is looking to use Expedition Maps and Sylvan Scrying, both of which search their library, to find Urza's Tower, Urza's Mine, Urza's power plant set up the Urzatron so even mind says there's another great sideboard card there and honestly Tron and Death Shadow the two decks we just talked about are very near the top of the modern format right now so even mind sensor is actually very good and very relevant and having another printing will hopefully bring down that seven dollar price tag a bit and give more players access to the effect it also helps against Court of Calling which 
Uh, I mean, it does see play. It's not near the top of the format at the moment, but it's another popular search effect that Aven Mind Sensor helps against. So all around, Aven Mind Sensor, A plus reprint. Exciting to see a reprint like this in standard. It's great for standard. It's great for modern. And it's super awesome to have the Bird Wizard back and with another printing to bring down its price. Quickly on the way out the door, a couple other things. We got the non-promo versions of Glorybringer and True Heart Duelist. Not really going to talk about those we talked about them a couple days ago but that's what their art looks like if you want to see the non-promo version the only other new card we got was unwavering initiate and this card really isn't relevant we're not going to talk about every common moving forward in our spoiler videos, but it was kind of a slow day today, so I figured I'd throw it up there. Another Embalm card is just so expensive. I'm sure it's fine and limited, but I can't imagine any constructed deck in any format really wanting Unwavering Initiate. So anyway, that's been our Amonkhet spoilers for the day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.